what's up guys before the video starts i want to thank you for subscribing to my channel and liking it and uh if you haven't did that yet go ahead and subscribe and if you're thinking about getting into the carpet cleaning business i do offer a step-by-step -step course down below in the description as well as the tools i love and use so now you know stay tuned What's up guys, Tommy here from Green Rhino. First job of the day. Um, quote was over the phone, like all my quotes. I never guarantee the quote um, until I show up. But uh, as you can tell, pretty soiled, pretty dirty. A little bit of color here and there. Candy, this and that. Um, But overall, I think it's gonna make for a great clean. See, it's in here in the living room areas where we got some some problems here. I don't know how long it's been there. Probably artificial coloring. I'm a red one. I'm just gonna kind of go over this area. Let that dwell before I even pre-spray. Um, so I got this new spotter kit right here, and uh, I went ahead and, and bought it. I was at uh, Aramsco, and I like the setup, looked professional, it came with all the spotters. So I'm just going to test these things on the job. I know most of them are, uh, you know, generic. What I mean is generic is, you know, red ones usually always work, so that's a good product. This right here helps stop um, spots from popping back up. I would say it's kind of like a spray and walk away product. Rust remover, lipstick, blood, egg. See this right here is where I'm gonna um, keep this out for stains I'm not sure about. Um, paint, oil, uh, paint, ink, nail polish, uh, gel break for like gum and stuff like that. But I, I like this stuff for gum. It's easier for me. Uh, you just freeze it and knock it off. And red vanish. Oh, that's that's one from the cap store I put in here. So, so yeah, it's a nice uh, spotter kit. So, if you guys are looking to get everything you need, um, all in one, this might be a choice. It's a Bridgepoint professional spotting kit, about 189 bucks. But you know what? With all the chemicals and everything included, it's actually a good deal. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pre-spray with our carpet details and, and do some good scrubbing. It needs it. And knock this one out, stay tuned. So this is do everything stain remover here. Egg or ink, lipstick, blood, and more. So I just kind of go through here, all these um, spots that I really don't know what is. And uh, treating them. And it broke up a lot of stuff already. That looks like artificial color there. It's not really gonna do much for that. I'm gonna have to use a uh, post spray on that. Red one or whatever. So we got a little bit of red there. And This whole area right here, hmm. I'm not sure about this. I treated it with my uh, peroxide based product. I don't know if this stuff's meant to do this much on it, but we're going to rinse it all out anyway. that dwell and I'm gonna let it sit here in case I need it later so Aaron's pre-scrubbing got the Namco in action doing well for us I'm gonna pull out the hoses and uh, start the machine up already pre-sprayed by the way these areas right here are gonna need a little bit extra scrubbing
Probably gonna have to break out the uh, drill brush. To... But this is kind of like, I don't know, it seems kind of like tar or something. It's coming out of the garage area, so. So yeah, it breaks up really well. Sometimes you just need a little bit better agitation on this stuff that's kind of hard. You can't just rely on your uh, pre-spray to break it up that much. Yeah, yeah it's like a trail of this here. All right, so lately I've been uh, really concentrating on um, tightening my business up, the business structure, the business model. Uh, Basically, guys, setting it up to to sell. I know you guys think you're selling your business. No, I'm not selling my business. But each business, if you want to be a business owner, needs to be set up in a way to where it could be sold. So everything's like structured and formatted, not chaotic. And so um, it, it's just like the law of attraction. I start thinking about this and say, all right, I need to come up with. Uh, just a more professional look, more um, more of a, a repeatable business type. So I'm down in Aransco for some other stuff. I see this kit and I think, you know, this is, it's kind of exactly what I need. You know, I mean, if all these products works fine, right? This is a, a kit I can always have on my van. Even though I have my own little re reliables, which I'm going to still have, right? Um, I'm gonna keep, keep trying these out, get to know this toolkit, and if it works, that sure would be nice just to buy the whole toolkit, right? And then just kind of replace what you need. You know, if you're taking my course, I'm telling you what all you need to be in the, uh, be a carpet cleaner, effective carpet cleaner, to where you can get 99% of the stains out, you know, that, that's possible. Um, you know, I have all my to-go's right now, but Having a kit like this, which I did put a link under my tools I use, the same kit, because I bought it, and it's tools I use, you know? So, um, we'll see how well these products work in, in, in the future here. Like I said, I'm gonna keep using it. Um, but yeah, setting my business up to, to sell. Um, because that's the way your business should be formatted. It should be able to run without you there. So think about that guys i know we're small you know owner operator maybe you got a helper but um you gotta look ahead okay you want to expand you know you, you got to make your business to where you don't need to be there for it to run okay true owner doesn't work the job okay right now i'm the ceo and anybody else who's running their own business and they're on the truck their ceo is also okay so I'm gonna set my business up to be the owner. And um, yes, I'm still gonna be out there on the job because I like doing this stuff, weird as I am, but but I'm gonna have another van going and it needs to be uh, structured in that way, so. So yeah, a little bit of that and I'll always think about that, guys. Uh, I, don't, I didn't make that up. I listen to people, watch people, study people smarter than me. And look at this, this is already looking great. And all he did was pre-scrub it. Still a little bit of area right there, but we'll treat that when we get to it, see what happens. All right, uh, he's cleaning back there. Area's looking good already. This spot, I'm gonna treat these spots, or uh, scrub these spots. That way, when he gets, when he gets to um, this area, all he has to do is just extract. No stopping, you know treating certain areas i got that done for him so if you got a helper with you this is the type of stuff he needs to be doing or she needs to be doing ahead of you prepping because prep is prep is 90 percent of the job all right everything else is easy pushing that wrong one is easy you know especially if you got a good one <laughs> makes a world of a difference but uh that's the easy part of the job because that's the finished results 
So if you're working by yourself, keep something like this in your back pocket. Keep your spotter kit with you, like I have it. Okay, so you don't have to run in and out of the van. So that's also a really good, I, I have a toolbox, I do that too. But this one you can close up, it looks you know, more professional. Um, so you take this out to the job with you, you know, and right, I mean, as you're cleaning carpets, have it nearby. So you don't have to run back and forth to the, to the um, van. It's gonna save you a lot of time. It's gonna make the job a lot easier. Yeah, so that's some, some kind of tar, some kind of hard stuff that just needs to be broken up before it's extracted or else you're gonna have to go over it too many times. But yeah, it should be some easy cleaning by the time he gets here. Or I get here, you know. Trade off back and forth on that one. I'm still to the point to where if it's a tough area, I want to have hands on. And I know a lot of people, owner operators like that. Also, cause we just want to do the best work we can so we can have this customer call us back again and putting your business in somebody else's hands is really really hard to do but but honestly it's what we have to do to be successful to be able to grow your business the way you want to grow your business if you want to be a multiple truck owner or in any business what you do period night carpet clean you have to find somebody hire somebody that basically is as good as you are um, and somebody really successful told me that all right again.
All right, guys. I'll finish up. About 99% of the color came out over there in that area uh, where there is spilled a smoothie. Well, we got most of it out, but not all of it. But it looks a heck of a lot better. Artificial color. We even brought out the steamer and treated it, and uh, it didn't want to come all the way out. So that's all you can do for that, guys. Um, you bring out the steamer, and it won't um, disappear on you, and you can sleep good at night knowing it's a permanent one. And that is the second time that garage door slammed in a cross breeze or something. Scares the crap out of me. All right, so we're just locking up after ourselves. We're gonna close the close close the garage after ourselves. But uh, yeah, looks like it came out good. All right, guys. So I hope you like the. Uh, information i kind of given you and i'm just kind of passing them on as i'm learning them that's what the uh channel is all about i really like this uh spotter kit here so far they had um this one right here w worked well on a lot of stains and this one right here is kind of a mystery stain remover man that thing's awesome but um but yeah, having a kit like this on your van, that's professionalism. All right, and that will work even when you're not around. They also have an app, by the way, that you can download on your phone. And what you do is you put in what stain you want um, to remove, like lipstick, and it's gonna tell you what to use out of the kit. So that's really helpful for people that are uh, just starting out too, so. All right, we'll see you in the next one.